Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah Smile to Jannah <laughs> Lately Saudi Arabia has been making itself more tourism friendly They've been doing this by hosting events, games and also music shows as well This may seem harmless to some of you mugs out there But let me tell you why it's not Considering Saudi is seen rightly or wrongly as the center of Islam this is gonna raise a lot of eyebrows mate Saudi Arabia makes some noise! even those who consider music to be permissible in Islam still say that at least the lyrics cannot be immoral and promiscuous but when the artists that are being invited to Saudi are known for the worst lyrics imaginable then it doesn't leave any doubt that Saudi has indeed lost the plot What? Look at me you know you're done keep playing the thing you guys you're, you're somebody that you're must dying. be watching your pornography hey, Jack, please allow me allow me please yeah? yeah let me give you one more chance you are now what added the cherry on the cake was after the performance of Chris Brown he had the nerve to end by saying this thank you so much for this opportunity mashallah wait pause this guy for a second be quiet for a second okay, shut him up shut him up for a second he said mashallah which means Allah so willed he willed what exactly? Your misogynistic promiscuous lyrics or is it the ruin of the country that's trying to save itself financially by bankrupting itself morally? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Brings everybody together to have a great time and enjoy so to be here in Saudi Arabia in the day and as far as uh, the seasons Flip the yeah. neck mate calm down it looks like you're having a seizure mate You guys can dance and have a great time but I guess the most important lesson to learn here guys is and I've had to learn this the hard way as I've grown older the fact that Islam is not a place and it's not a person because both places and people are prone to corruption and of course the Quran Allah has promised to preserve and look after it and of course the Sunnah has also been meticulously compiled over the ages Alright guys I'm gonna end with this yeah I'm not coming to you with a halal or haram angle I'm gonna leave that for the scholars that are more qualified in dealing with these issues frankly I'm just saying look after yourself guys yeah be very cautious with your diet and your diet isn't just restricted to what you eat it's also restricted with who you hang around what you listen to and what you watch because all of these three things they affect your subconscious and it's the subconscious that we need to look after because that's the information that we're gonna need in times of difficulty and let's face it if these things that we're accepting into ourselves through osmosis are positive then we generally will have a positive outlook on life and if we're surrounding ourselves with a negative then naturally that's gonna make us pessimistic and when we come across obstacles it's gonna be more difficult to deal with them mate so yeah guys it's sad when we see these things but number one it shouldn't affect our iman and our faith and number two it should encourage us to be more proactive and practical in the implementation of our religion such that these people can be benefited from our light think about it if everyone's rich who are you going to give charity to but if there's poor people then if you give charity you're helping them you're bettering your life and their life and your hereafter as well so similarly when people are being misled and alhamdulillah all praise be to Allah you are fortunate enough to have the gift of Islam then mashallah, mashallah go ahead earn the reward earn Allah's pleasure through doing these acts and I want to end with this guys because Subur the legend of evolution is in Pakistan for nine months yeah and he is delivering free lectures on evolution and atheism and to be fair I haven't come across anyone any Muslim who is as knowledgeable in the field of evolution as Subur is and he's doing it for free and he's in Pakistan for nine months so guys I'm gonna put his email in the description he's traveling all over going to universities and delivering talks and saving people's faith guys 
If you are from Pakistan, you are linked to a university, email him, get him to come to your uni, save people's Iman and their faith. All right guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Until next time guys. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh, He's not normal. Oh. He's not normal. Assalamu alaikum.